Hello guys! Today's video is dedicated to the professional version of Google Maps plugin from Huge IT. This video only for professional version, so if you didn't watch the free version, please follow the link I put below the video and watch it. Right now we are going to go on with the features that Pro version provides. What's new? It's the number of options that were closed in Pro version. You can open them by purchasing one of these licenses personal, multi-site or developer. Personal license is for one website and six months technical support. Multi-site is for five websites and one year technical support. And developer version is for unlimited number of websites and lifetime support. The options are the same in the three versions. So when you chose one of them, click Get Now button and you will be redirected to the purchase page. As soon as you buy the plugin, the zip file of the plugin will be automatically downloaded into your computer. So what's next? Go to your WordPress. I have installed the Pro version, but if you have a free version, just deactivate the plugin and then delete it. After you deactivate and delete the free version, you go to Add New, Upload Plugin, choose zip file and click on install now after installation activate the plugin it will appear here go into your google maps then all your created maps in free version will be transferred here so you won't lose them click on the map and let's see what kind of options google map gave besides that if you have noticed google map has added api key which you should set. If you don't know how to set or have a problem, just follow the link I put below. So now let's start with the options. In my free version video, I have shown how to put the map into your page using these two shortcodes. Let's do the same. Take the shortcode, copy, go into your post or page, Paste the shortcode here or use this button to add the shortcode. Click on update button and watch the page. Here is the map. Now on this map we can try the pro version options. From general options we can make changes on wheel scrolling. What does it mean? When you click on the map you can scroll and zoom in or zoom out. If it's on Let's check. It works. If it's off, refresh the page. And you can see I'm scrolling only the page, but map doesn't move. Next one is map draggable. If it's on, you can just take and drag the map. If it's off, you cannot do that. Map language. Right now my map is on Russian language, but if I change to English and click on save button, let's watch. Next one is border radius. Change the number and you can notice that map gets some radius on the corners. Next one is map animation. When you open your page, the map can flash like this or like bounce and many other effects that you can check, zoom in. So, next one is markers. After we end up with the general options, we start creating markers using this button or right click on the map. But you first need to click on add new marker, then right click and the marker will appear. From these options you can choose any other type of marker. Or using this field you can upload your own marker. It can be the logo type of your company or some any other image. Let's move on to the polygons. To add the polygon you simply need to click add new polygon button. 
then make a few right clicks and it will paint the polygon shape write some name you can give a link on a polygon so when someone clicks on it it can redirect to external link give the data this is the coordinates of each marker line transparency color line width and field transparency i'll go through them quickly because i've been talking about it in free version so the pro version options is that the hover field transparency level can be changed when you hover a mouse over hover fill color you can replace the color with the new one see and on hover line transparency on hover line color here you go click on save and the next one is polylines to add the polyline also click on add new polyline button just click on the map as for the polylines you had line color and line transparency now you got on hover line color on hover line transparency for example the line color right now and I change it for on hover let's save it and go to the next one directions this option is very new you didn't see it in free version so let's get to know it directions is away from a point to b point so the a point is start location address and b point is end location address first of all let's give some name i'll call it dear one to get the start location just right click on the map and it will automatically fill the coordinates latitude and longitude the second right click on the map will add the end location then you should choose the way for walking driving bicycling or transit let's make it driving this is my a and b locations choose to put markers along the way I don't want the markers so I remove them line transparency level this line can be transparent like this or not transparent choose the color for the line and line width so then click on save button so this way you can show how to get from A point to the B point. Next one is circles. Using the circles, you can add some rounded area. Just click add new circle, then click on the map and you'll get the circle with the center address, latitude and longitude. The pro version allows to change the color of the fill on hover and on hover fill transparency level as well as on hover line color and on hover line transparency level let's check them let it be pink and yellow okay now hover color on line and fill has been changed let's save the results and go on with the layers layers allows to add traffic layer bicycle layer and transit layers on the map highlights the roads and real-time traffic on them bicycle layer make bicycle road highlighted on the map and transit layer highlight the transit layers which connect the cities so choose one of them on your map save and the last one is map styling with the map styling you can add some color on the map here you can see 
After this, choose the lightness, saturation, and gamma. Then save the map. And here you go. Now all those changes that we have made here and could watch, we get on our test page. Here you go. One more thing I want to add. Proversion gives the ability to add HTML text to the description box. For example, a marker click can open some text. If I write something in the description, then save, click. Here you can see my description. This option is available in Pro version, but Pro version gives the ability to add some HTMLs. Like, let's make it bold. save and here you go it's bold now besides that HTML allows to add any kind of image music link to the description to add a link you need to add the link into a tag with a ref Write some title, check here, and close the tag, save, let's see, here is the link which is clickable and will take us to a new page. And the last thing about Pro Features is that Google Maps allows to Create a copy of the created map. Here we have a copy of my first map. And also export this map to CVS file. Clicking on this button, here you can see the map automatically downloaded the CVS file. So that was all about Pro features of Google Maps plugin. I hope you liked all new things that we have added. And with any questions, please write down the comments or on our support email. I'll put all links under the video. Please thumbs up if you like the video and follow our new updates. Bye for now.